So, you did a DNA test, and you finally got your raw DNA file. Congratulations! Let me show you what you can do with it. Let me show you what free tools you can use on your file to find out more information about yourself. Let's begin. First, let me state that you will find all of the resources mentioned in this video on my website. If you navigate to my website, uh, you will see I have my trade predictor, which I sell for $13 a niche. It's, that is the executable. And I also sell reports for $4 for one report and $7 for two reports using trade predictor. Now here, if you navigate to the left, you see a uh, page called free DNA tools. Let's click on that. And here I have a collection of free DNA tools that you can use to find out more about yourself. Uh, let's start with the first one. The first one is uh, YDNA. Now, some people online will charge you for this information. For example, uh, Ancestral Brew will charge you $130 basically for this and for, and for this. These two services, just knowing, just having these two links will already save you $130. It is very big. It's a very big, a very important piece of knowledge. So before you buy Ancestral Brew's DNA service, I want you to find this video and I want you to see these three tools that you can use to find all of this stuff for free. So let's go ahead and click on Clade Finder. Let's follow that link. And here we have Clade Finder. So what we do is we upload a file. I'm going to use my own file. Um, I'm going to choose file and let me go ahead and I think it's here. And my file is going to be this. So let me go ahead and it's, it's going to upload my file and we're going to get all of the data, all of the relevant data for my file, all of the relevant data about my YDNA, my paternal lineage. So it has concluded and my YDNA is RZ21. Let me zoom in actually. I can zoom in. So my YDNA is RZ2125. Uh, this is what you will get if you buy Ancestral Brew's DNA service. And I just generated this for free. And it took me five seconds. Um, there is a panel. It says YSEC recommend, recommends R1A Z93 panel because Z2125 is downstream of this panel. That's true. And you can actually look where this uh, particular haplogroup is most common. There is this, this uh, map over here. So let's go ahead and click on the map. And we can see a map of where my paternal lineage is most common. Uh, it takes a while to load. But anyway, let's move on to mitochondrial lineage. This is going to load and we're going to see it in a couple seconds. But let's move on to mitochondrial lineage. If you took a MyHeritage file, you do not have relevant data for your mitochondrial lineage. You will not be able to find out your empty DNA if you have your MyHeritage file. But uh, basically 23andMe or Ancestry, these files will have relevant data for mitochondrial lineage. So let's go ahead and click on this link. And it's pretty simple, the same mechanism, you upload the file and you click on upload. It's going to wait for a couple seconds and you're going to get a report on your mitochondrial lineage. Pretty simple, pretty good stuff. Okay, so um, the map has generated. So this is where my paternal lineage is most common in. This is kind of like the map of, uh, the map of where it is most widely is spread. Seems to be pretty common in Afghanistan, a little bit in Kyrgyzia, a little bit in Bashkortostan. Yeah, quite interesting. Anyway, let's close that. So next, next thing we're going to move on to is phenotype predictor with snipper free. So let's go ahead and click on snipper on the link. And this is a very good phenotype prediction for eye color, hair color, and skin color. It is better than YSEC. It is nonetheless, it is actually worse than my trade predictor. Uh, my trade predictor will do a better job predicting um, traits like skin color, hair color, eye color. Uh, but snipper free is good if you don't want to pay me money, if you don't want to spend like $4 on a report or $13 on a executable, you can uh, avoid having to pay me money and just use snipper free. So essentially with snipper free, let me show you how, how that happens. You go ahead and click, uh, for example, classification of the individual having blue, green or hazel eyes, and we're going to set it to seven markers, just something, keep it, keep it simple, keep it easy. And we have these markers on the bottom left on, of the screen, and we're going to enter in our genotypes one by one. So the first is, is going to be this variation in HERC2. Let's say I have GG here, and we're going to enter GG here. Now, you see there's SB direction here. That's, that's quite important. So when you see uh, this direction being forward, that means if you have AG, you got to enter AG, right? But if you have, G, uh, if you, if you have heterozygous genotype, you're going to have to enter AG here. 
and you cannot enter GA. If you enter GA, you're going to get an error. It's not going to work. So uh, keep in mind that you, you got to watch out for this direction. However, there is a way to make this simpler. And there is actually a way to uh, avoid having to do all of this stuff, entering it one by one. If you don't want to enter it one by one, here's what you can do. You can go to YSEG phenotype predictor. And you can upload your file there. Let me upload my file to YSEG phenotype predictor. Uh, it's going to, yeah, it's loading. Let's upload it there. And we get this really pretty, pretty guy. Um, looks nothing like me at all. But anyway, we get this really pretty guy. And we got the snipper format eye color prediction. So we're going to copy all of this. And we're going to paste that here. And that's going to be for the 23 markers. So if you got 23 markers, here's the thing. There, there's a, you're always going to be using Hardy-Weinberg principle and naive bias with allele frequencies. That's, that's what you're going to be using every single time. This is what you need to use if you want a precise prediction. But uh, do you choose the 23 markers haplotype or no haplotype? Here's how you decide between haplotype versus no haplotype. Basically, go to your um, YSEC prediction result and find this SNP and see how many alleles you have on the right. So you see how many numbers you got on the right. I got zero. My number here is zero. Then you find another SNP, which is this, and see how many numbers you got on the right. As you can see on the right, the number is zero. If the number is the same for these two variations, number 20 and number... Which one is this? And 31. 20 and 31. If the number on the very right is the same for these two variations, then you're going to be clicking haplotype. If it's a different number for these two variations, then you're going to be clicking something else. But if it's a haplotype, you go ahead and choose... If, if, it's the, if it's the same, if the number is the same, you're going to choose haplotype. And click classify. And snipper free is going to do its thing. And it's going to predict me to have blue eyes. Very interesting. Also inaccurate. I also don't have blue eyes. But I guess it's it's all right. It's all right, yeah. It's all right. Uh, the best the best prediction for eye color will be the best prediction for eye color will, will be of course with my Akiat V2. And to get Akiat V2, you can follow the link here, and you can just download it. It's free. Uh, it says name your own price here. I would really appreciate it if you donate it to me. But you technically don't have to donate anything. You can buy it for free. You can get it for free. And this will be the best uh, eye color predictor aside from my other stuff. Like, aside from my trade predictor in Ashakot, this will be the best. This will be the second best in terms of eye color predictor. Except here, you don't actually have to pay anything. Let's close that. Uh, followed by this, we have, for the trades, code gen, which is also a free tool. Let's go ahead and open code gen. I've been using this previously in my videos for uh, various ancient genomes, but I stopped using it. Uh, I have some problems with it. I stopped using it. I don't like it so much anymore now that I have my own tool, my own trade predictor. Uh, but let's go ahead and open code gen and let's see what uh, what we get for the code gen. This is also a free tool. Yep, it it something went wrong while processing whatever. So it might not it might not even be working. That's very interesting. Sometimes it does this, sometimes it doesn't work. But code gen essentially is uh, kind of like trait predictor, except it's a little bit different in that uh, the polygenic stuff doesn't work whatsoever for code gen, and it's also it's also quite different in that code gen only uses SNPs that are in SNPdia. If it's on SNPdia, it's going to be on code gen. But my trait predictor also uses SNPs from GWAS Central, from Genome Wide Association Stud Studies catalog, like this, for example, and GWAS Central has much, much more SNPs and much more data than code, uh, than snipper, SNPdia, excuse me, or CodeGen. So still, even though you can use this for free and you can get your trades for free with CodeGen, I still recommend you buy my trade predictor. And lastly, we move on to ethnicity with GD match and G25 simulations. Uh, now, GD match is too difficult for me to show uh, to you because number one, I'm banned. Number two, it takes a very long time, and I won't be able to fit it into this little tiny format, uh, short video format. But I'm going to show you the G25 sim with um, with Roto Sim G25. Let me open this link. Roto DNA to simulate the G25. Let me go ahead and enter my name. We're going to enter yeah, Andre, my name. And for file, we're going to go ahead and choose my file. 
and it's gonna be a couple it's gonna wait a, it's gonna take a couple seconds but it's gonna load and it will generate a simulated g25 coordinate for me on the basis of my um dna file what's interesting by the way is if you bought or if you're thinking about buying ancestral brew service this is something that he will charge you uh $130 for 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 this and it's free it's you don't have to uh, you don't have to pay any money to get this report it's absolutely free so while this is loading we're going to go ahead and look at the GN dna genic studio kit studio compare matching segments uh in case you bought um there's this service called my true ancestry right and my true ancestry basically the their uh, their shtick is that they they match match you with various ancient genomes and they say you're you got this many um uh, centimorgans in common with this ancient file with this ancient individual you got this many centimor centimorgans in common with another ancient individual and the thing is you don't really have to pay them any money for this because you can get all of this report that my ancestry gives for you to you for they charge a crazy amount their prices are crazy but you can get this report for completely free you can do it yourself let me show you how you can do it so you buy you get dna genics kit studio from dna genics it is once again completely free let me open it it's dna kit studio and you you go to um, raw analyzer and we're gonna go ahead and choose my file uh we're gonna go ahead and choose my my file right here and for raw data too we are going to go ahead and choose my mom right Natalia, right? And we're going to click compare and we're going to see how much. Well, actually, that's not a good idea. I did, I did something wrong. That's that's not what I had in mind. I had this in mind. So we're going to go ahead and click, click Natalia for my mom and we're going to go ahead and click myself for myself and we're going to click compare. And there you go. There you go. Everything is in common. We are basically mom and son. So total centimorgans shared three, uh, three, three and a half thousand actually. Okay. Very cool. And in terms of the genotypes, we have 81.4% full equal genotypes, 18.5% half equal genotypes, and we don't have any non-equal genotypes. Well, you're not going to have any non-equal genotypes if you compare yourself with your parent. You and your parent will always have uh, pretty much 0% not equal genotypes. So that's, that's yep, that makes sense. Uh, actually, 0.01%, that, that is, I think, the rate of genotyping errors with my heritage. So that's what this number is. The 0.01% is the rate of errors in genotyping. It's pretty cool. And you can compare yourself with any ancient file. You can compare yourself with any of the files on my... Um, on my um drive so for example with malta one with ancient north eurasian let's set the minimum segment s and p's to 100 yep and s and p window size threshold also 100 minimum segment size centimorgan let's set that to one and let's compare let's see how much my mother has in common with ancient north eurasian malta boy It looks like she's got this one segment in common, and that segment is 1.6 centimorgans. It's a pretty big segment uh, to have in common with somebody from the uh, Upper Paleolithic period. All right. So here you can see how that's done. Uh, you don't need to pay the. Uh, you don't. You don't need to pay to my true ancestry anything. You don't need to pay them a dollar. You can do this all yourself. So you can go ahead and click Megagenix. If you need to find these ancient files, you go into to the bottom of Megagenics, which is my ancient genome database. Click on that. Every, I mean, there is like 505 files here. There is so much data on this database that a lot of data. You can compare yourself with a lot of ancient genomes. And finally, uh, for ethnicity G25 sim, I think this is done. So let's go ahead and see what we score. And this is what we score. 56% uh, Yamne. Uh, twenty-four percent Barsen Neolithic. I'm a lot more Barsen Neolithic with the official G25, but whatever. This does as well. Um, seventeen percent WHG, 
a little bit of Ngana a little bit of Han as well. All right. Well, that's pretty much all there is to it. I hope that I've been able to save you a lot of time and money. Uh, definitely a lot of money. And I hope that you use these tools that are free um, before you go ahead and spend $130 on Ancestral Brews uh, DNA reports.